She hit you with this? Wow. I'm not stupid. I love you. How much have you had to drink? Two drinks. Two drinks. Two drinks. I'm not going to lie. I've been That's the standard. Drink. And he came and hit me again, and I fell down, and he started kicking me and hit me again. I, I grabbed him and tapped him down. I said, you know, made his luck. The citizens arrest on his ass. What are you looking at? You privacy rapist? That's why I can lose my home. Hey, rapist. Hey. hey. Privacy hey, rapist. Hey, Die. Do oh, what are these girls up here? Don't they just try to be. You the husband or something? Stay that girl right there. Okay. Okay, I'll take and care a looking girl with the hat no, backwards. Man. She hit me in my face Please, and grabbed that? my arm. She kicked me. She punched my DJ. Peace for mankind. Peace for mankind. We are. We're en route to go back. Uh, some patrol officers on a domestic violence uh, case. They responded earlier today. They gave the lady a break. Uh, the second time we went out, she fled on foot. So we're going to try to locate her. Where's she at? She went that way. She's wearing a, a striped shirt with blue shoes and heavy set, and he's bleeding. He's, he's bleeding? Him. Have him come out. And he's, oh, she stabbed us. She and stabbed him? Yeah. You tried to hold her back. Hey. Hold on, hold on. Get over here. Turn around. Place your fingers behind your head. Get on your knees. Put your hand behind your back. Come home. Mom, Put your hands. Every whore in the town in the, my house. OK, come on. You Where's your shoes at? Well, they didn't let me have them when I left. So who's the guy that got cut? Well, he's the one that was slinging the axe at me. OK. But I've been staying in Crestline because the whores are here. Because the whores are here? Yeah, and they're all on dope. I'm not on dope. I'm clean. I've been working. i got a good job. I want my old man back. I want him off of dope. Get him help. OK. OK. That's all it is. I'm not the criminal. Just relax. I would hey, sir, where are you injured at? Uh, it's OK. It's just Let me a see it real quick. Thing. Don't hey, charge her with what, this. What is that from? She had a knife. She had a knife? Yes. OK. Does she cut you with it, or? What's the fight? Is she your girlfriend, wife, what? She used to be. She used to live here with me. And she came back today, and we tried to make it. We tried to get back together. and. Uh, a guy came in the room and she got upset and then she just she just went crazy. She went crazy? What was she doing? <sighs> you can see what she did. She broke out those windows right there? She what was she, why was she wetting you with the hose? What, what's that all about? To disrespect me, I guess. I, I don't know. She hit you in the mouth? Go ahead. Huh? No? Yeah. Is, your, is your lip swollen? A little bit. A little bit. What, what's that from? Hammer. She hit you with a hammer? She hit you with this? Wow. Hey, Robert, turn off the water. Well, she really did a number. You don't want to press charges on her or anything like that? No. Okay, just hang out right here for a second. Let me go talk to her, find out what's going on, and then uh, and we'll see what we can do, okay? So, what happened, ma'am? I was in the bedroom making love with my man. We were butt ass naked, and that black guy across the street walked in unannounced and thought it was okay. My old man got, didn't oh, handle it. He walked outside and told her to yell at him, but he didn't tell him to, 11, go ahead. to, to, to get the f out, to, 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 you know, to knock. You made you go off in a rage. I didn't go off in a rage. I sat in the bedroom. My man, he's all dope. He don't listen. He don't listen. He's all so stupid. You, so you guys were in the room. He didn't kick his ass. No, but what were you guys doing again? Disrespecting him. He should have handled it like a man. When the black guy came in. You bet. Is, he, he, is that true, sir? You, the yes. Guy, the guy walked in when you guys were having sex and. No, we were not having sex. I had my clothes on. All 30. So, you know, no, we were you got dressed afterwards. I had my clothes on. You're so stupid. I'm dumb. No, don't you remember? Go ahead. I had my clothes on. You didn't on. have your clothes on, honey. So then you kicked my ass. And he told me I was a tramp because he didn't handle it. I, I, I did. Mad. You tried to make me hit you, but I didn't. I didn't try to make you hit you. I never want you to hit me. Stay by the car right here. You're not nothing for me to right hit. There. I don't right want to hit, man. I'm not stupid. I love you. Honey, I love you too. Why did you kick Why did you do this? Why did you kick his ass? I tried out? to stop I'm you. I'm a tramp. Oh, I ain't going to do he what you tell no me to do. You have no respect. Well, I told, respect. I told him. Don't you have knock to have respect. Door. I don't care. Who I told you him knock on the door. Rich, poor, black, purple. You I gotta know. have respect. You have no respect. You're so stupid, Mel. Get off a dope. He don't have a clue what day it is. Have a seat, ma'am. 
It's so stupid he can't pay rent. That's why everybody's here. Okay. To pay rent. Nobody, sit down. Sit down. Nobody pays rent. They're all that's probably stolen car in the jar, but you better check it out. Okay, I will. He just had one the other day. All right. And that's a fact. He needs to get clean off a dope. Dope is the devil. You're going to be going to jail today for assault with a deadly weapon and domestic violence. I'm straight as an arrow. What is that? Those are not mine. Those are not yours. No. What do you think they Listen. got there? You were standing there. What is it? What is it? Right? Can you Listen get it? Listen to me. I'm going to go over and back up a, a guy that's following a suspicious vehicle. Good evening. license? Everything is in the bar. I just I just came to look for my sister because she left the bar. How much have you had to drink? Tonight? Two drinks. Two drinks. I'm not going to lie. I've been That's the standard answer. answer. That, okay, but that is, the truth or not? Yes, I swear on my daughter's life. OK? And, and how much is, money do you have in your in your hand there? I, I was going to get a pack of cigarettes. That's not what I asked you. How uh, much $5, money do you Five dollars. I was going to get a pack of cigarettes and look for my sister. Do you mind if I see it? Yes, and I just came at a, at a DAF. I'm straight as an arrow. At a? DAF. OK. Drug Assessment Foundation, OK? Which car is this? This is Todd's car, a man that I, I'm out on a date with, believe it or not. And my okay. sister came up to the bar, and she says, I'm going around the corner to get a pack of cigarettes. She's been gone an okay. hour. OK, listen to me. Yes. Is there anything illegal in this car that no, there's not. about you gun, drug, knife, anything like absolutely that? Absolutely, I know for a fact not. you have not. a problem with me checking? Not at all. OK, nothing illegal in here that all. I need to be concerned Absolutely about. not. Absolutely not. I just, like I said, came out of DAF. I've been out for two weeks. Okay. Straight as an arrow. What'd you use before? I, I was on. I was addicted to um, Roxycodone. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. It was due to a car accident. How'd you take it? I, no, I used to take it orally. I know people do it in a lot of other ways, but I was doing four pills a day. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. There you go. Yes. Basically, what this is, it's a bottle that they. Uh, a lot of crack smokers, what they'll do is they'll, they'll take their stem, they'll put it in the hole here, and she has a, a valve, lets the air come in and out. They'll put the, uh, the stem in there, put the crack in the side of the stem, they'll light it up, and they'll use this just to hold the, uh, the stem so they don't burn their fingers. She uh, is very antsy, very talkative. Hey, all there is is the bottle. Not mine. What is it? I so don't you're know. Not doing that anymore. It's in the car you're That's, driving. No. You can put ask Todd. It's not mine. I oh. just drove the car from four cities to here. What is that? What is that? What is what are those pills doing? I down don't there? know. Get away from me. Oh, come on. No, no, no. That's seriously. That's right where you were standing. No, 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 you think no. we ran over there? No, I'm serious about it. Those are not mine. Got it. Listen to me. Those are not mine. Those are not yours. No. What do you think they listen. got there? You were standing right there the whole time, right? What is it? Can you look listen at it? Listen to me. My tire is right there. I would have ran that this over. Can that is you. Can you look at it, please? I will look at it. I have my lower tab. Yeah, those are my lower tab. But those are not mine. Seriously. I'm not, I didn't do anything wrong. So those weren't in your so hand when we just opened it up, right? Yes, it was. Those, those are right there? Right? Those are my prescriptions. Where's your prescription no, for? No, they're not oxycodone. OK, no, we're they're not they're playing games with you anymore. You've done nothing but lie. They're not. They're not. That is not mine. OK. What is it? Um, they're illegal drugs. No, they shouldn't be. And, and they weren't mine. They are what you're going to jail for. She probably had it in her uh, in this her pants. This is where she was standing when we were talking to her yeah. all the time. That's what I'm saying, because her hands are in front of her. She probably had it she in her pants. She dropped it down and... there, because when we walked around here, she was getting all fifty. Right. These are uh, Tylenol with codeine, Schedule Three, controlled substance, and then these are uh, Vicodin. They're also Schedule Three. Very good. So they're both felonies. Good job. On top of that, we get the. Uh, and she doesn't have a prescription for either of them. No, they were actually concealed on her, so that's even more evidence that she shouldn't have. The pills that you had, what kind are they? Lorcan. Okay, what kind are the other pills? I don't know. They're not mine. I swear to God, if they're mine, no, they look like aspirin to me. Call the call the pharmacy. You know, if you take a pill, if you take a pill, I'm a nurse, for real. If you take a pill and call up like any pharmacist, like mm -hmm. call the 24-hour one, they'll tell you what it is. If you have prescriptions it. for both of the pills or just the one? one two, the other ones are not mine. I'm not. Don't know what they are. I swear on my daughter's life, I don't know what they are. For all I know, they could be. No, heroin compact. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know. They could be ecstasy. They could be anything. I don't know. All right. It's the time. We'll be with you in a few minutes.
And she will go. Go for a ride. Right there, right there, Juan. That's it. Get down. Get down. That's crap. It's a wallet? No wallet, no crack, nothing. Not me. There's a car right now with a couple of officers are uh look they they look like they're gonna stop a guy. They're running, they're running. Right there, right there, Juan, that's him. Get down! Get down! Nine twenty three with them. Who do you throw? Nine twenty three, we're going to walk. Stand up. Yeah, he might have dropped something back there. Have a seat. Why are we running? Somebody was going to meet me. So I was going to buy some ecstasy. All right. I ain't want to. Did you know throw anything? Saying? I ain't have nothing yet. You he was coming anything? out of his house, though. All right. Take your seat. Let's see if he threw uh, some drugs or a gun or anything else. Clip 320. The wallet. Right here. The wallet? Right here? Yeah, it's crap. Nice. My paper bag. Maybe he just robbed somebody. We got him right here. So if he dumped whatever, it was it happened right here. Is this Brandon's wallet? It's uh some some Mexican guy that lives right down the block here. Oh. So we'll go talk to him. It's okay. it was kinda right by the crack that we found. Not me. Would you throw a wallet? No wallet. Huh? I don't have no wallet, no crack, nothing. Not me. Somebody so else. You didn't throw anything. I swear yourself. to God, I didn't throw anything. I told y'all what I was gonna do. No. So why'd you try to run? You ran right beside, you didn't throw the wallet or the crack. No. I swear to God, I didn't throw no wallet, no crack. I'll take a lie detector test, anything, I promise you. So why'd you try to run from the officers? Because my man was finna come out of his house with a whole bunch of uh, something, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get the away from there. I didn't throw no wallet, no crack, not me. What was he coming out with? With some ecstasy. You know well, if you didn't have anything on him, on you, why did you run? No wallet, no crack, not me. Uh, no, sir. No, sir. Should we go look for this guy? Yeah. Hola. Hola. Uh, ¿Se encuentra el manual? ¿Qué? Uh, ¿Cómo la perdió? ¿No sabes? Ah, rompieron el vidrio. Ahí está la huella del, 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 como es, creo que tenía el carro. His wallet was in the car. And uh, it's like this guy that ran from us stole his wallet out of the, out of the car parked right in front here. <laughs> OK. Gracias. Dale. Te va bien. Brandon, why don't you tell us uh, what really went on here? I ain't got nothing to say, man. Huh? I ain't got nothing to say, man. So we weren't really out here to buy ecstasy. Yeah, I was. So how'd you get the wallet? I didn't have no wallet, man. I did not have any wallet. OK. So you had like $150 on you? Yeah. Where, do you have a job? Yep. Where do you work? I sell weed. You sell weed for a job? Yep. All right, but you didn't break into the car, you didn't steal the wallet, and you didn't have any oh, my crack my grandfather, Gray. My grandfather just died yesterday. I put that on everything I love. Okay. I did not break into no car. All right, so you don't want to tell us what, uh, what really happened? What really happened was I was coming to drop the crack off for somebody. That's what happened. And he didn't show up, or? No, I guess not. I mean, the wallet was right beside the crack. But I didn't have anything to do with no wallet. All right. He's going to be getting charged with possession of crack cocaine. He will also be uh, charged with the uh, that wallet that was stolen from the vehicle. He started kicking me and hit me again. That's ridiculous. And he kept saying, this is my house. I tapped him down and said, you know, made it like a citizen's arrest on his ass. He was overbearing. We're going to an assault that just occurred. Apparently, a couple neighbors got in a fight. And uh, one called in, and the other one's uh, apparently going to be around here. Or a white male that's not wearing a T-shirt. Check this guy right here in the garage. Hey, hands! Don't play this game. Turn around. What are you just hiding right there? Actually, to be honest with you, I throw the uh, water pipe bomb in there. Throwing a bunch of stuff. You threw what? 
Oh, uh, there's a water bubble in there. Echo card, um, uh, uh, so what's this? A marijuana pipe. What's marijuana going on pipe. down the street, or what's going on down there with your neighbor? Nothing. Nothing? He come over here. What happened to your face? Well, he proceeded to just get up and not like what I was saying at my place and insisted and punched me. Knocked me clear in down up, up under there and was going to take over me, you know. And what was this all about? Actually, sir, to be honest with you, I was going to open that back window up and he insisted. Man, you've been drinking a lot today. So what's this all about? I mean, not a lot, but a couple of beers. So what's this all about? Hey, okay, what's this all about? Nothing. I don't yeah, even there's... know the man. It's the first time I met him Got in my three. life. Howdy. Yeah. What's going on? Well, yeah. took, hit me from behind, kind of stumbled me. Then he came and hit me again, and I fell down. And he started kicking me and hit me again. And where do you live? Right here. OK. You don't live here? No. So this all happened over here? Yeah. About what? About me making a suggestion about how, you know, how to take out those windows, because he wanted air. So this is all about you making a suggestion right. he for said, windows. Right, OK. And he kept saying, this is my house. This is my house. Don't don't tell me how to do things. And I said, OK, man, no problem. So I went back to getting ready to do what I was, you know, what he asked me to do. Yep. And so I did that, and then he came up and hit me from behind. From behind. Where, yeah. did, where did he hit you, in the back of your head? Right here, first. First hit was here. These came afterwards, because I was on the floor and whatever's up against the wall. How did he get a scrape on Oh, as a matter of fact, that's what it was behind, because he tried to, he tied off, there was a two by four, a piece of a two by four that went across that top of that window, yep. but it was above the window. He tied it off, and it hit him in, you know, the nose. That wasn't and from you? That's where he got his bloody nose from. And I guarantee you that two by four is still laying there. And that wasn't from you? No, hell no. Look, I ain't got nothing on my knuckle except my blood. Stay in here and hang out, okay? All right. How'd you get a scrape on your nose? Just you right there. From you got that scrape from him? Yeah, that's what this is over. It. He insisted I pulled that board out of there on taking that back screen off. And then I wanted to come on the inside and take the window out. And that's how you got a scrape on your nose? Yeah. So then how did he get his injuries? I, I grabbed him and tackled him down. I said, you know, made it like a citizen's arrest on his ass. A and citizen's my, arrest? Well, he can't weren't do that guys, my old property. Weren't you guys both over here talking about that? You invited him over here. He was overbearing. So then when you decided to make the citizen's arrest, that's when you what? Tackled him down. From you tackled him, he got all cut up? I don't, I don't know how cut up he is. He's done something. Well, he got blood all over him. That's mine. That's your blood from that? Yeah. Because I was over the top of him. So all that blood him down. All the blood on him is from, from that me. from that little scrape. It was just dripping all over, and I didn't want to move or get off the top of him. My blood was dripping all over the man. Hey, you know, I just I'm going to jail on my old property, and he's not. I don't yep. understand it. Yep. How could that happen? What do you mean, how could America? that happen? I mean, what do you mean? I don't have America. a right to film my old property. A man's going to insist on breaking through my back screen and punch me in the mouth. And I can't take him down? Well, f America, then. That's ridiculous. Sit down. I'm not going to play this game. No. If you can't defend your own property in America, what country can you? I'll do my time proudly. All right. You saw that right on the table. And then once we got him into custody, I found this in his pocket. And you found that where he hid it in the wall. I searched all the other stuff. Um, so we take him for uh, assault, cause of bodily injury, uh, possession of Schedule 1 for marijuana. And, uh, Possession of uh, drug paraphernalia, too. Yep. So, yep. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Here we go, boys, again. Going to jail. Ah. Some uh, guy just came out of the apartment right here, chasing me with a knife. He got my goat. What well, he did, he had me believing that he could see into my house. You yeah. privacy hey. rapist, hey. die. We're going to come around and see what this guy has to say. I'm getting waved down. That was crazy. So what's going on? Some uh, guy just came out of the apartment right here, uh, the, the final one up from up top, and came and started running, chasing me with a knife. He pulled it out and started running. Kind of got me a little okay. nervous and running back. What did he look like? Uh, he was uh, about my height, probably a little bit lighter, uh, white guy, um, shorts, either late 30s, mid 40s. And uh, I look up and he, that guy's sitting on the top stairs. He yells, he goes, 
what are you looking at, you privacy rapist? And I, was, <laughs> I said to him, kept walking. He goes, you think that's funny? And then he ran down the stairs, and I'm probably right here in the street, and he's right behind, right by that curb right there. And at first I'm like, okay, I hope I don't want to get in a fight. But and then all of a sudden I saw the knife, and then he popped it open. This is like one of those times, popped it. So open. he made a physical movement. Oh, he open opened it. up and he actually ran after me. He chased okay. me, chased me to the corner. What color was the knife? Silver. Okay, Are you 100 percent positive it was a knife? Oh, I know it's a knife because he had to flip it open. So you saw him physically open yep. the knife. Okay. If you'll hang out next to my partner's car, I'll get you a statement. I should be out that county building. Sheriff Department, open the door. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Turn around, face away from me. Put your hands on top of your head. Top of your there. head. Face away. Am I going to jail? I don't know. Why would you be going to jail? I don't know. Because I had an anger outburst. Because you had an anger outburst? Where are you going to go one day? Because I don't want to get along with that neighbor and you provoked me and I chased off the room. OK. But What'd you do with the knife? I didn't have a knife. OK. Do you see how to knife? Well, let's oh, go sorry. down here. We'll talk. I was up there having a cigarette. I asked him what he was looking at. And uh, he said some remark, and he, and he started laughing. And I walked, I walked, I walked, I walked over there, and he started running from me, so I ran after him. Did you have anything in your hands? My keys. He got my goat with what he did. How did he do that? Just by laughing at me and seeing something under his breath. So how would he mistake these for a knife? He said he saw a blade. I have no idea what he's talking about. When he walked by and he looked up here, what'd you say to him that made him laugh? I said, you're, you're a privacy rapist. You're a privacy rapist? Privacy rapist, because um, he had me believing that he could see it in my house. Today, as he walked by, how he was, how he was staring at me and stuff, I felt provoked. So why don't you tell me the rest of the truth about where the knife is? It is in my, the bedroom where the boxes are in. Can you show me? Yeah. Let's walk upstairs and you can show me. Ooh. I don't let you fall. I had my keys in my hand, is what he's saying, is the knife was keys. Did you drop it in this box? Is that it? That's, yeah, that's my knife right there. Okay. Let's go this way. Would you like to have an opportunity to say your side of the story and what happened? I don't even want to talk to this dude. Thanks for making me lose my home. Hey, rapist. Hey, hey. You privacy yeah. rapist. Hey, hey. Die. Do me a favor. Go Leave over to the front of my patrol car. You privacy quiet. rapist. Calm down. I'm going to be in jail for a minute. Nobody's going to pay my rent for me. Chances are good you'll see a judge either tomorrow or Monday. Okay. When you explain your case to him, maybe he'll be able to assist you in a way of making sure your rent gets paid. OK? Please don't pick me to jail. Please. Sir, you're going to jail, OK? Watch it. So I didn't have a seat. Watch your head. I, I know I'd lost my home. Goodbye, Batos. What do you remember about the knife? Anything distinct or distinguishing? Yeah, I remember it was one of the kind you have to push with the button and pull out, and I remember it being silver. OK, would that be it? Exactly, that's the one. OK, thank you, sir. Yep. Hey, so you know, that guy told me the knife I showed him was exactly the knife. I didn't chase after him with the knife. You didn't chase after him with the knife? No. Hey, sir, you're going to go to jail for felony harassment and intimidation with a weapon. A 27-year-old girl, one of these girls up here, beat her butt. What happened? She hit me in my face. Wait, that girl right okay. there. Okay. She kicked me. She punched my DJ. We just got a call of a white female. I'm supposedly hitting people in the parking lot. Reportedly drunk. How you doing? I'm fine. I'm actually, I'm not fine. What's the matter? When? My daughter, two weeks ago, has started coming here. A 27-year-old girl. One of these girls up here. Oh, the trying to beat you the us. husband or something? You my fiance. Dad? OK. My daughter, my Somebody other daughter. Hit, hit this girl on the chest, and she's got a, a red mark on her. Now I got a text message saying that 27-year-old was fixing to snatch her up by the hair of her head. Tonight? Tonight. OK. And beat her butt. OK. This is my daughter. I walked in again. Stay back there. I'll be there in a minute. Even. Stay back there. That girl right okay. there. OK, I'll take and care of her. Looking girl with the hat backwards. Back up. Take me. 
Okay, stay Please back there and I'll be there in a minute. What happened? commotion down at the snack bar okay. and the 13 year old that's in the office right now she she punched her in the face shoved her in between the who vending, did who the, punched the her the, the, the one in the tank top here yes, sir. okay she shoved her in between the vending machine and the wall the owner told me to come down she said get the kids so i brought the girl down uh -huh. and i brought the young man down brought them into the office she was punching everybody in the face coming out the door she says i'm gonna see you guys and she was just hitting everybody they're both drunk they don't need to be here they're both drunk Anybody hurt inside? Uh, one of the little girls got punched in the face. She's in the office. Thank you. There's okay. a little nick right. on the inside of her lip. Okay. It's actually right where her finger's at. Don't worry about yeah. your sister. Your sister's okay. What happened? Oh, she hit me in my face Who, and grabbed that? my arm. Who's that, hon? I wasn't in here. That woman that you were talking to in the parking lot? The one in the had, tank top? Had grabbed her smacked her, shoved her between our vending machine and the floor, knocked her down so hard that we all freaked out. I told her this is the third weekend we've had problems with her. I got spin out barks in the parking lot from the last weekend. She comes in here belligerent. She causes problems. Usually my husband and myself can take care of it. But this time, it was above and beyond. She broke our office door. She kicked me. She punched my DJ. She, I can give you a number of 15 skate guards and children that she assaulted. It was my last straw. I had to call somebody. It's one thing for her to mess with the adults and have parents around to deal with the children. Like right. he was here last weekend when she messed with his, with his daughter. But when I have to get involved, because I protect all these children, you know, I'm always out there. I'm getting them off the tables, making sure they're not on the wrong spot of the floor. You know, I'm just... They call me the skate Nazi around here, you know, but I don't tolerate that. Good. Nobody touches children in my building and gets away with it. The last two times that she's done it, I have not called the cops. I have not made an issue of it. I've given her the option to leave and told her I don't tolerate vulgarity. I don't tolerate cussing in front of children. I was raised Amish, so I don't. I don't put up with that too well. I was out walking my dog, and my son came running out the door and said, Mommy, someone just called, um, Brandon, my other son called and said, Kayla was hit by this lady. 30, is this the same lady that yes, gave you? Yes, the 37-year-old lady that hit me, that almost hit me last time. This woman about a, what, last week? Came, last Wednesday. Last Wednesday, say. Kayla came home and said, Mommy, there's a 37-year-old woman that got in my face and tried to hit me. Okay, so when Kayla was dropped off, we didn't see her. My husband didn't see her. Did you see her today? No, I didn't. Okay. All right, anyways, I was hoping that this lady wouldn't have the brains. That she has no brains. You don't hit a child. <laughs> you don't hit a kid, period. Anyway, um, she did. It, it escalated, and she hit her tonight. She was threatened her the All first right. time, and now tonight she hits her. Okay. I'm very upset. I want to press charges, and I personally like to be her myself. But I'm not going to do that. Um, all right, come step out of here. I got the right, turn around. Oh, you were kidding. Yeah, turn around. Put your hands. I'm gonna explain it to you. So hands over. You're turn gonna around. do this in front of all these people. No, we talked to everybody inside. We got witnesses. We got statements. There's a whole bunch of different stories. We're gonna take you with us. Huh? Okay. I wasn't here. Okay. You I didn't here? to see what happened. But you're here. I'm going on statements from the people inside, yep. with independent witnesses and employees. Okay. Uh and what I've seen as far as injuries, okay? You can turn around. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I'm gonna place you on the rest for child abuse on the child and then for battery on the 19-year-old. An individual's inside a fast food restaurant trying to start fights with people. It's supposed to be right inside this fast food place. Like right. Put your smoke out. What? You Drop, your me. Drop your smoke. Drop your smoke. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Down on the ground now. Peace for mankind. Peace for America! Peace! ACLU! 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 Ah! You hurt my shoulder! Joel, turn over 43. Oh, 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 you give me no. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 my shoulder. Put your hand behind your back. Okay. 
Put your hand behind your back. Okay. Stop resisting. Okay. Okay. I won't resist. <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> Put your hand behind your back. Okay. I can't. My shoulder. Oh, it's been tore up. Oh, oh, no. Who's got? 43. Code 4 got one in custody here. You can lift any red. You give me some volunteers from all these people that right. saw him acting completely crazy. I almost tased him. Figured I'd just go hands on him with it real quick, so took him to the ground. Okay, let's let's sit him up. Let's sit him up. Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. Okay? We're gonna get you up right now. All right? We're gonna get you up. You're acting completely out of control. He took I his clothes off. I haven't taken a shower in three days. Okay, get, him, get this on. Get this on. Oh, stand up. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need you guys to fill out a statement for me, if you wouldn't mind, here in a minute. Yeah, I'll put the nobody else. Thanks. We need. We're gonna need a statement for sure. Peace Walker. Oh, outstanding. Peace Walker. Okay, Michael. Peace for mankind! Sir, Peace so what exactly happened here earlier? What did he do to you? Well, I come in to get something to eat, and he started threatening me, got in my face, started putting his finger in my face, and then he started, and he, then he had the nerve to call me George Bush, and that's when I really thought it was, that was too far. Okay, and then what would he do? So he did he did that, and then he did he, did he try to throw a punch at you? What did, he, what did he do? He came close. I mean, his finger was right in my face. He, he, I thought he was going to touch me. I, if okay. he'd have touched me, I don't know what I'd have done. Because I was looking at the I was looking at the child seats, and I know they're heavy wood, and, and I could swing one pretty good. Uh -huh. Then he threw a soda, and it hit this lady here and him. And I don't know what he had been doing to the other people. When I walked in, he was already ranting. And was, he, was he trying to throw the soda at you, and it actually I, yeah, hit her? Yeah. OK, great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Did you want to say something to me, sir? Well, I just want to apologize from the bottom of my heart, officer. I acted uh, really out of character. I'm exhausted from my peace walk across the country. I came home to Las Vegas, and I came to home to a bad reception by my family. And I thought it would be a happy occasion, but my ex-wife had me tre trespass because I was waiting for my son, Steve, yes. to come home from work. I understand that you've got some personal issues that you're dealing with, and that's probably what you know what inspired your behavior inside there. I'm awful, son. However, I, I, I appreciate that. You made me, listen to me, listen to me. You, you, made, you made me do what I had to do in there. You're gonna be going to jail uh, on the assault well, on myself? Okay. Secondly, what precipitated all that was when you went inside and started in with the, with the man initially and challenged him and went off and threw a drink at him and challenged him to a fight and put your finger in his face and all that other stuff, okay? And then it the drink that you threw wound up hitting a lady who wasn't even involved in anything. And that completely, you know, ruined her night. So those are the things that are on your plate right now. You're going to get yourself a shower, you're going to get cleaned up, you're going to get a meal, and you're going to be able to get your thoughts together, okay? All right, you got to think about dealing, dealing with things and your stresses in your life in a little more positive way. What's wrong today? Huh? Boy, when he's running. Hand behind your back! All right, we got him, we got him. Have you ever been to jail before? I don't want to be you don't want to go to jail, right? Ain't nobody else in this trailer park got this uniform. Sure. We're uh, being dispatched to one of the local mobile home parks. We're going to meet a lady here. Apparently, she's having some domestic troubles with her fiance or ex fiance, and uh, she wants him removed to the re from the residence. So. Well, what's going on? I had hit a curb the other day, and it shifted the belts of my tire. Uh -huh. well, he asked me not to go nowhere, OK? Well, my friend today, I didn't want her driving on suspended license or tag. Hey, for him. So I told her I would take her up to Harrison. Well, on mm -hmm. the way back, we got a flat, Yeah. OK? It, where the belts were shifted, it cut my tire, oh, yeah. OK? And um, I, I called him when he got off of school to let him know what happened, and it sure. started then. You know, I'm, I'm immature, I'm a crackhead, uh -huh. um, I'm, I'm irresponsible. Not a crackhead, crackhead, though, are you?
No. Okay. Well, why should I call you that? To, but I'm yeah. not crackhead. Okay, okay. And I'm tired of his verbal abuse. Well, why you stay I'm with him? I'm stupid. I'm always dumb. <laughs> what do you put up with it for? Because we've been together 13 years, and 13. I thought it would get, get different. I thought yeah. it would get different. Are you guys married or just engaged? Well, we, we've been together 13 years, so I, we both have wedding bands. Ah, uh, okay. So you're just and living as husband and wife then. And he was going to get me for abandoning my trailer, and I was just going to go stay with my mom for a few days. Okay, where's he go to school at? At Southwestern College. Okay. So he's, uh, what, what's he in school for? Medical assistant Medical. slash phlebotomy. And at the end of Burger his graduation, he will be a surgical technician. Okay. Right. He was going to get us up out of this trailer park, but I'm tired of the very abuse that I always got to put up with him. It's not fair to me. Okay. What's his name? Robert. Robert, come on over here. Are you going to tell me something I already know? I'm not going to tell you something you already know. I'm just going to ask you why. Do you love this lady? Um, yeah, probably at one time I did, yeah. You did? You yeah. don't love her anymore? I'm falling out slowly, yeah. Okay. Well, what are we going to do to work it out between you all? You guys well, got 13 years mom, together. That's a start. Okay. That's a start. Well, what I'm trying to do is, is get you all to get back together or, or try to work out your problems or something like that. Sir, Mr. William, it's 13 years, okay? 13? 13 years. That's a long time that's to be tossing it down the drain. Me and Mary. We ain't yeah. married. Yeah. Okay, we've been living together for 13 years. Yeah. We verbally abuse each other, mm -hmm. okay? And once, maybe twice, we have physically abused each other. Yeah. That's twice out of 13 years. Well, and, and that kind of stuff happens sometimes. But I'm going to let you know, though, you cannot make poor judgment, poor decisions, mm -hmm. okay? I'm trying to better us. You see, you know? No, I'm yeah, I see that. Us. I see that. Ain't nobody else in this trailer park got this uniform. Uh, you know what? And, and nobody's going to downplay you for that. You've done your fair share to uh, become a better man. And I'm trying to do that, sir. But this lady here loves you. Look, she's crying. She, she is upset. Give her a hug or something, man. She, I, 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 this I lady this. loves you. I go through this a lot. I, I, I'm I know. used to it. Well, she loves you. I know that, and I love her. Okay. That's a 50-50 deal then, then, there. Let, then the let's middle. do this. Let's do this. Do you think you guys can work this out without all the restraining orders or, or tossing each other around or, well, it, or it, it, throwing no things? There's no restraining order going to be needed because this is my address. It's on my ID card. And it's I your live. address and right. her address. That's and right. That's why I want to make sure you both get back in here tonight and, and you can make up or, or just steer clear of each other and, and work this out. You all start arguing, okay. start name calling. One of you get up and go next time so it doesn't escalate to anything uh, worse. And okay? that's what I usually do. Good deal. All right, and, and, and keep doing that, okay? Can you all make up, tell each other you're sorry, something like that, give the man a hug, there you go, see? See? But uh, maybe let her go over mom's tonight and you guys can work this out tomorrow. All right? All right. Okay, all right. Well, why don't you go ahead and go. You're very welcome, good luck to you. Hey, good luck. I hope you graduate, all right? I'm gonna graduate. All right, good deal. You now this couple loves each other. They're just trying to uh, work things out, try to stay together and try to get through the hard times. But uh, she's visibly upset and he's consoling her right now. I run away to a local uh, store manager call and so there's two males at the checkout line fighting right now. That's all we got. We got about uh, three or four units responding right now. There he is right there. 71 Fox, I think I got him up behind the KFC. Okay, 65 in the Get on the ground, do it now, get on the ground! Do not move! 71 Fox, I got him behind the KFC, 980 the trail. Do not move, do you understand me? Yes, sir. Stay right there. <laughs> Seven one Fox, he's in custody. He was assaulting me, so I had to leave. I ran from him. He assaulted me. Seven one Fox, on me. also Roy MS, bleeding from his foot pretty bad. Who were you in the store with? Some guy I just met. Some guy you just met, all right? Yeah. So I was gonna go pick up my prescriptions because I just came in the hospital for being stabbed in the chest. And yes, I was gonna sell him my Percocets. Okay, what did the off. guy look like? Uh, short hair. Black short. guy, white guy, green guy, yellow guy. What do you look like? White guy. White guy. What was he wearing? A blue and white striped shirt. He's saying that the guy that you were 1012 with, he just met up with, this guy was going to sell the Percocets to the guy, that guy over there. He said he had something in his shoe when he was running, and it cut his foot. So what did you have in your shoe that cut your foot? Uh, a razor blade. A razor blade? What did you have a razor blade in your shoe for? Because I'm always being robbed, 
I've been stabbed twice. I just got just got just left the hospital today, as you see. I was stabbed. So he gave him the money. All right, to the for the first was close. All right, so he's admitting to it now. All right, let's. I'm gonna go talk to him. Listen to me. Explain to me what happened. He stole money from you. That's it. He stole money from you. Yes. Did you not give him money? Yes. To for what? his prescription. A Percocet. Uh, he said he some antibiotic because he got stabbed. Okay. He did not steal from you. You told me you gave him the money to, to fill, fill a script. Which How long have you known him? How long have you known him? Which was six dollars. How long have you known him? I don't know. Him. You don't know him. So you just give strangers fifty bucks to fill That's prescriptions? That's why I walked in the store with him. I saw his clothes, and he's like, "Call customer service. Call customer." Service. I was like, "No, stop right now. It's over. Give me my money back. That's it." No, no, no. Just give me the money. It's over. It's over. Just give me the money. What did you do with the 50 bucks? There was money in my pocket. Yes, that was mine. Oh. OK, there was you. He gave you 50 bucks. No, it was You mine. never gave him the 50 bucks back, that was which means that you still have 50 bucks. No, it was my, I had my own money. It was in my pocket. If you had your own money, why did you need somebody else's money to buy your your oh, prescription? I had him take me up here. Hmm? Bring me up here to fill them. That's all I had him do. That's what caused the stabbing this morning. So, because I stole something and he thinks it's his, you know, because he drives me. It's my. It happens to be a fifty dollar bill. That's my. Oh. How? You live behind the Army Navy store and you steal stuff for a living. And I sell it, sir. And half you have fifty bucks in your pocket. I sell half. It sir, I sell all my half price. Sir, I earned that. I do, sir. You earned it? No, I do. I went up there. Yes, I stole something, but I earned my money. I have nothing to do, sir. That's what I did to earn my money. I stole the paintball gun from Walmart down there, and I earned my money. I know it's the wrong thing to do, but I still earned it. Other people have their jobs. I earn. You know, I deserve to earn, keep my money. I earned it, officers. I still earned it. What did you give him? I mean, fifty dollar wise, was it two tens and a twenty, a bunch $50 of five? Fifty bill. Fifty dollar bill. When I gave it to him, and then I tried to get it back from him, he had it in his hand. Then he put it in his pocket, took it out of his hand. If you could tell me I, what pocket he put it in. It was in his right hand, so it'd be in that pocket. It'd be in that pocket. Right. Okay. He took fifty dollars from me to get that prescription filled, and I'd like my fifty bucks back. That's what's going to happen. Am I going to jail? Yes, you are. What am I going to jail for? Loitering or prowling. That's all? That's it, man. They're going to let me out in the morning. Can I have my shirt? All right, don't roll over anything. Ow! Have you signed right here saying that you're taking possession back of your $50, OK? Is he going to jail? He is going to jail, yes. I should have chose wisely. You guys are right. Choose your friends wiser. Hey, you know what? Look, there's that female we seen earlier with that male. Now she's talking to every other male that walks by. Let's go talk to her. All right. So right there, I had reasonable suspicion to stop her. Hi, How you doing? What's going on tonight? Nothing. Just having a good night. What are you guys doing? Hey, come here. Talk to us. We want to talk to you. Huh? We want to talk to you. What? As I said, come over here real quick. Control one DP, cut the first day, one time BFA in front of the ghost. Why are you walking away from me and talking to guys? Because I'm supposed to be meeting somebody in here. I'm just talking to guys because I'm feeling myself. I'm just talking to people. But your boyfriend's over there. And I'm chilling. I'm not doing anything wrong, I swear to God. I got, I got reasonable suspicion that you're out here prostitute. I'm not prostitute. No. You ever been arrested for it? No, I haven't. I'm not even from Vegas. Nothing. I'm from the Bay Area. Do you have ID on you? No, I don't have my ID on me. I'm on you come to Vegas and you don't have ID? Huh? You come to Vegas and you don't have ID? I lost my ID a couple of weeks ago, and I just came to L.A. like the other day. Your boyfriend's standing over there. You're out here with your phone, which is typical for what girls do when they loiter and solicit. Uh, Brad, Brad, you grab her. Grab her. Why would they bother me? Let they have blonde hair? I'm not out here working. Right now, cooperate. 
operating is going to help you, and then we'll figure everything out. Sir, can I, can my bra is that dead? We're getting you a blanket right now. You feel me? We're getting you a blanket right nothing. now. We're getting you taken care of right up? now. Can I get up? No, we're no. Getting, we're getting can you a blanket. Get up? You're not getting up. We're getting you a blanket right now. Get about it. Man, this is crazy. Are you at the front or can you talk to the front of Cosmo? That's what's so crazy. Y'all don't feel seen. Relax. We'll figure it out. Man, me. No. We'll figure can't everything do out. Nothing. No. Relax. No, man. Can I do nothing? This is crazy. Everybody around here got healed. Yeah. Please tell me, please. Man, this is crazy, man. I didn't do nothing. Y'all don't understand. I didn't do nothing. Okay. Where am I going? Y'all said I was We're going to go. We're going right down. over to the car. Man, you're, you're not going to talk to me. Are you going to talk to me? Let me go. What's going on? Why did y'all tackle me down for what? It don't make sense. Because y'all want to make an assumption that somebody else is doing something that y'all see other girls doing? This is, I think Aaron I've Dale's, never been Aaron got day in my life, and this is some shit that I got to go through. This is crazy. This is crazy. All, all the people y'all can lock up, rapists, killers, all that. All of that. Y'all can come here. Y'all can take me to the police station. Don't lie to me. And as soon as I grabbed her, she uh, she just threw a haymaker and hit me right in the nose. So I grabbed the front of her, and uh, the fight was on. She was wiry. We couldn't do hardly anything but just hold her down and wait for more units to get here. I was drinking tonight, but and I did go off, and it was just a reaction, and I did not mean to do any of the things that I did. It was just a violent reaction because I got mad because I do not like when people touch me or when people grab stuff from me. And I'm going to go do my time. But I really do apologize, and I'm not even trying to be on no funny stuff. I take okay. it as a woman that I did what I did. I really do. You know, I know what I'm talking about. I really do apologize, though. I appreciate that. I do apologize. And you're going to be going to jail for a battery on a P.O. Mohawk, black jacket, black pants. Uh, we're going to go to this call. We're just around the corner. Some uh, juveniles possibly throwing rocks. You're rolling alone on this. Let me know if you're going to need a back. Throwing some rocks to an abandoned building here at the windows. There's a whole bunch of broken windows right here, so we're going to go inside the store and try and locate that suspect and see what's going on. You called and you saw them yes, do... Th I did see them throw something. Okay. I did see them throw something. Okay. And you saw them going here. What were they wearing? They have a... The one kid has a light, a light blue shirt on. Okay. And the other kid has like a um, blue jeans and a dark headed sweat. Did one of them have a mohawk or Yes. Something? Okay. How's it going, guys? Can I talk to you too? Yeah. All right, let's go outside. Why'd you have this in your pocket? I'm not staying with you. Why else do you think I'm talking to you? You could check me. I don't got Why else do you think I'm talking to you besides this? What other reason might I be here trying to contact you? I don't know, but I'm not trying to steal anything. He has money on his phone. I have a dollar oh eight on this. I'm just trying okay. to Okay, well let's set that over here and then you can buy that later. Alright, sure. You guys don't have anything else on you, do you? You don't have any weapons or anything? Why are you crying, man? That is. What well, what else is going on here? We know something else happened here, right? It's not just coincidence I came in the store and I picked you two out. Okay. There's something else that happened. And it was in this parking lot, and people saw you do it. So and your best benefit is possibly going to be to to explain to me what was going on and be honest. OK? You didn't do anything. So everyone is lying about the windows over there at the video. I didn't see nothing over there. Nothing? So uh, two pe one person saw you, described you to a, to a perfect T as to throwing, so throwing rocks through the window, and you're telling me that they're lying, and, and I should believe you, right? Can I talk to you over here? Yep, come in. None of this was me. Okay. I never threw a rock at them. So you, you saw him throw the rock through the windows too and he broke them? Yes. And why did he do that? I don't know, but I had no part of this. Okay, how well do you know him? I know him for about two and a half years. And so does he do this stuff a lot or is this no, just... No, I know who did the rest of those. I'm going to watch your videotapes anyway. What's your name? Dakota. Dakota? All right, come over here real quick. Why'd you throw the rock through that window? I didn't. Have you ever been to jail before? No, and I don't want to be in jail. You don't want to go to jail, right? Here's what's going to happen. I have people saying that you're breaking windows. I got you here. I have videotape. I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to put all of them on there. If you want to be honest with me, then I'll just charge you with the ones that were broken. I need to go home already. I 
All right, sit back down. What have you been in trouble for before? Breaking a window before. Doing what? Breaking a window. How, what's your obsession with breaking this glass, man? You know what? I'm going to put you in handcuffs. You're going to go in the back of the car until we get a hold of your parents, all right? Well, how much more stuff were you stealing? This is, I mean, we're, we're at a whole, I mean, why are you stealing lighters? You break windows, and then you you got stuff up your sleeves, a Red Bull in your pocket. What do you need a lighter for? Do you smoke? No. Why do you need a lighter for? Do you light fires? No. I just like. Can I call my mom? <laughs> Don't cry. I mean, you're a pretty tough guy. Are you Dakota's mother? I am. Okay. Come over here. I'll explain to you what's going on. Okay. Uh, we have a witness that was in the parking lot that watched it. The windows are clearly broken over there. Video. They described him. He has a mohawk. They said a young child. He's been in juvie before for breaking stuff and no, malicious no, destruction? No, he hasn't. Friends are saying he did it, and he admitted it to me before I took him into custody. Okay. We're going to go ahead and follow through with it. He's going to go down to juvenile hall tonight. If he can learn something from it, great. That wearing a white shirt. Hey, Dakota, okay, your mom's here now, so what's going to go on now is you're going to go down to juvenile hall for breaking the window. You need to learn that you're not going to just get away with everything you do. We are going to a prowler. Neighbor called in, said he saw a white male slinking around the neighborhood. 43, do you want me to start more units that way? 44. There he is right there. 41, we'll have him here at Longfellow and Adams. Take your hands out of your pockets there. Come here. What's wrong today? Huh? 41, he's running. North Adams. We're running uh, east. Forty-one. We got a helper here that helped us take custody one block east of there. Good man. You all right? Yeah. Roll over. Roll over. Okay. Turn your head down. Okay. Give me back your arm. Give me your arm. going on today? Huh? Do you live around here? Why don't you roll up on your side, okay? Roll up on your side. You got any ID on you? Huh? Hey, can one of you guys just go get the address here on the street here? How come you're running for me? Oh my God. Huh? Can I sit up? Just hang on, okay? I'm not gonna run for me. Okay, why don't you sit up on your rear end, okay? Sure. You already did run. Oh God. Huh? You want to tell me what you're doing? Why you ran? Huh? Can I stand up? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, are you guys gonna kick my ass? Uh-uh, no. Okay. Get your knee, leg underneath you, okay? Do you live around here? Come on, go ahead. Oh. There you go. We'll go out front here, okay? Where are you at? Are you out back or out front? Right here. Okay. Is your car out? Right here. Oh, okay. We'll go put him in there. I don't know who he is yet. He's got ID in his front pocket there. He is all right. Are you all right? It's a question. What were you doing back there? He had his hands in his pocket. He wouldn't take it out. And... I'm... Huh? You just drunk or are you... Go ahead, spread your feet. Spread your feet. your feet, okay. Where do you live? Right where you guys got me. What's your last name, sir? What's your last name? Is your ID in here? There it is. Yeah. All right. Jeremy, you got warrants? Can you can you adjust my glasses, please? Yeah, just a minute. Can I just uh, like lay, lean against your car? There you go. No, you're gonna have a seat in the back of your car there until I figure out what's going on. Okay, go okay. ahead and have a seat in there. This will be good for some warrants. Where's that young man's name? That uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'll get his name. You okay? You just been drinking a little bit today? I already asked you before, any drugs today, Jeremy, or anything? No. Okay. And you have an order with Don, and you're not supposed to have contact with Don? That's your brother's 
girlfriend, right? Yeah. And who else? Nobody else. There's nobody else? Yeah. So you just, you got in an argument with her today and just, you left and then kind of got lost or what? Yeah, that's all it was. Okay. And you, did you know you had the warrants? Not really. Okay, well, how come you ran then? I guess that's my question. How come you well, ran? Well, I don't know. I just didn't want to go to jail. Okay, well, if you didn't have any warrants and you didn't do anything wrong, why would you think you were going to go to jail? Just, I don't know. Because every time you come in contact with the police, you go to jail? Is that yeah, kind of your theory? Pretty, pretty much, yeah. All right. I guess that's understandable. But today, you have warrants, and then you have a local misdemeanor warrant for, like, telephone harassment. That sounds like a charge from a, from a while ago. Okay. I'm giving you a break on the obstructing charge, so which I can load you up on a misdemeanor. But, Thank again, you. we didn't go very far. Thanks for not. You're welcome. Thanks for not running that far. <laughs> Watch Stop. Hang on. Stop. Hey, stop! You're about to get tased! Tased, tased. I can't! Now, why are you chasing me, man? Why are you running? I'm going to assess the officer to focus who had a disorderly subject. Officers are by. He took off running. I no longer have five suspects. Uh, what the officer said that when he approached him, he had a rock in his hand and walked towards one of our officers. All right, we're going back southbound. We're going back southbound. Southbound. Two nine, southbound towards two nine. Twenty fifth Street. Just go cut through the grass. You good? Hey, All right. Watch him. Repeat location. Cut through the south Southbound. Southbound behind it. Look. You good. If he's going back around, they'll see. Oh, I see him right there. He right there. 25. Where? He right there behind the house. Come right here. Back over 27. Yeah. Here we go. Stop. Hang on. Which way? He's coming right to you, Jake. Go! Go! Oh, go! 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 You're gonna get tased. Hands behind your back. I got it. All right, we got it. We got it. Slow down. Relax. You're gonna get tased. Relax. 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 Hey. Relax. 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 Cups, 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 cups. You got it? 21, 30, I'm for what, man? Relax, hey, relax. I just called the police. Relax. 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 I'm tired, man. For what? I just called the police. I called the police because I was talking to my head. Now, why are you chasing me, man? Huh? Why are you running? Relax. Calm down. I called the police because I was talking to my head, man. I got to get that call. You got me, you. What'd you run for? Because I called the police and they chased me. Listen man. to me. If you called the police and we're coming to help you, why would you take off running? Because he tried to grab me by my arms when I tried to explain something to him. Who tried to grab you? I don't know, man. I called the lady, told the lady. They called the police from the 7 Eleven. Okay, listen. If you call the police and you need help, when we get there, you don't take off running. Where was the rock? I, was I, was hours I dropped it on the ground when the police showed up. Yeah. I was trying to explain something to him. He grabbed me by my hands after I dropped the rock. I just dropped it. I went to the lady, told her, somebody's bothering me, harassing me. Does he have a CSP worker there? And why you got me handcuffed? This one. I called you to the You were the one that called? Yeah. What, what were you calling for? I was Did here. you need our help? Yeah. Well, what'd you need? What happened? I wanted to talk to him about something. Somebody was talking in my head. Hey. Somebody was talking in your head. So how come you walked up to me with a rock in your hand? Because I wanted to show you a rock, because... Somebody was talking in my head and I was mad. Someone was talking in your hand and you were mad? Yeah. You couldn't put the rock down somewhere else and then come and talk to me? No, I put the rock down. Yeah, after I told you to. Huh. Uh, I see. But you, you got me. You fought with me. I did. Yeah, you did. And then you ran. Why'd you run? Because you touched me and I didn't know what you was doing. I was trying to get you, uh, get That's you to where you settled down. Away, so you, you, yeah. You're doing a whole lot of hollering. I didn't know what you were going to do. I dropped the rock. You walk up on me with a rock? I and didn't hollering I, I and yelling? I dropped the rock because I, I wanted to show you. I wanted you to see the rock. The original call was uh, it was an individual in the parking lot. 
he went to the store and threatened one of the cashiers uh, with a rock in his hand. That was just going to get her side of the story. I just want to come over here and do your side of the story. He came in the store, he told me, call the police, call the police, they out there bothering me. And I was standing right there at the time, and I looked. I said, there's nobody out there. Yeah, call the police, they out there. I said, there's nobody out there. Get out of here like that. So he came outside, he went back, came back in with this rock in his hand. But okay. well, I didn't want to get busted in the head. Oh, I understand it. that. So he said, you want to call the police now? I said, oh, yeah, I'm going to call them now, because now you're threatening me. The cop, he pulled up right there. He walks over to him. Next time, I'm going to the chase was on. Chase was on. Right now, he's just going to go up to Riverside for a little bit so that he can get checked out because yeah, there's, he, yeah, he needs some help. Mm -hmm. We are going to a prowler. A neighbor called in, said he saw a white male slinking around the neighborhood. 43, do you want me to start more units that way? 44. There he is right there. 41, we'll have him here at Longfellow and Adams. Take your hands out of your pockets there. Come here. What's wrong today? Huh? 41, he's running. North Adams. We're running uh, east. Forty-one. We got a helper here that helped us take custody one block east of there. Good man. You all right? Yeah. Roll over. Roll over. Okay. Turn your head down. Okay. Give me back your arm. Give me your arm. What's going on today? Huh? Do you live around here? Why don't you roll up on your side? Okay. Roll up on your side. You got any ID on you? Huh? Hey, can one of you guys just go get the address here on the street here? Huh. How come you're running for me? Oh my god. Huh? Can I sit up? Just hang on, okay? I'm not gonna run for me. Okay, why don't you sit up on your rear end, okay? Yeah. You already did run. Oh god. Huh? You wanna tell me what you're doing? Why you ran? Huh? Can I stand up? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you guys gonna kick my ass? Uh-uh, no. Okay. Get your knee, leg underneath you, okay? Do you live around here? Come on, go ahead. Oh. There you go. We'll go out front here, okay? Where are you at? Are you out back or out front? I'm right here. Okay. Is your car out? Right here. Oh, okay. We'll go put him in there. I don't know who he is yet. He's got ID in his front pocket there. He is, all Where's right. That? Are you all right? It's a question. What were you doing back there? He had his hands in his pocket. He wouldn't take it out. And... Um, huh? You just drunk, or are you? Go ahead, spread your feet. Yeah, just... Spread your feet. your feet. Okay. Where do you live? Right where you guys got me. What's your last name, sir? What's your last name? Is your ID in here? There it is. Yeah. All right. Jeremy, you got warrants? Can you can you adjust my glasses, please? Yeah, just a minute. Can I just uh, like lay, lean against your car? There you go. No, you're gonna have a seat in the back of your car there until I figure out what's going on. Okay, go okay. ahead and have a seat in there. This will be good for some warrants. Where's that young man's name? That uh... <laughs> I'll get his name. You okay? You just been drinking a little bit today? I already asked you before, any drugs today, Jeremy, or anything? No. Okay. And you have an order with Dawn, and you're not supposed to have contact with Dawn? That's your brother's girlfriend, right? Yeah. And who else? Nobody else. There's nobody else? Yeah. So you just, you got an argument with her today, and just, you left, and then kind of got lost, or what? Yeah, that's all it was. Okay. And you, did you know you had the warrants? Not really. Okay, well, how come you ran then? I guess that's my question, how come you well, ran? Well, I don't know. I just didn't want to go to jail. Okay, well, if you didn't have any warrants and you didn't do anything wrong, why would you think you were going to go to jail? Just, I don't know. Because every time you come in contact with the police, you go to jail? Is that yeah, kind of your theory? Pretty, pretty much, yeah. All right. I guess that's understandable. But today, you have warrants, and then you have a local misdemeanor warrant for, like, telephone harassment. That sounds like a charge from a, from a while ago. Okay.
I'm giving you a break on the obstructing charge, so which I can load you up on a misdemeanor, but Thank again, you. we didn't go very far. Thanks for not. You're welcome. Thanks for not running that far. <laughs> we were just dispatched to uh, an assault. The reporting party standing by, uh, stating that he was hit by his roommate. What's going on? Hey, well, I have a he assaulted me twice. I want just say he assaulted him. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi, my roommate. Come on, Daddy. Don't fall. Anyway. Turn around. Put your I'm going back. Yeah, he first We'll get to all that in a minute, all right? Okay. Right now, he called us. Down, yeah. He said that you assaulted him. Yeah. You been drinking today? Yes, I had a couple have. beers. How many? How many? A couple. About six two. Beers. Well, two or six. Yes. six packs. I've had a three pack. A oh. pack. I went down to. I didn't his whole three packs. Well, well, like come on, let's go over pack. here. Six pack of tall okay, boys. never mind. So you two are engaged? Yes, we are. You guys live I together? I don't want to yes, answer any questions if you're going to distort everything I say. No, you know what I'm saying? Turn the beers. He's just asking. Will okay. you, no, turn around. Put, your, put okay. your butt on there. We can ask what happened? questions. He's been laying around my house for over a week, not paying all the rent. I'm tired, you know? And he caught an attitude with her. Now, I've told him, I said, if you got a problem with her, bring That's it to me first. Because me and yeah. him are supposed to be roommates. Yeah. Short of she's, she's my living girl. OK. And you know, the laundry, but he her. just keeps wanting to treat her like and I'm not going to have it. And then we came up here, right? And I was like, well, you know, I went for a walk down to the river because I didn't want to get mad at nobody. You know, I ain't trying to be a bad guy, you know? And I got back, and I heard that he shoved her down the yeah, stairs. And she's got scratches steps. and I got bruises. Witnesses. You I never, got you swung at you. Swung, hang on, him. hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I pushed him. Let me, let me clarify something here. Yeah. You pushed him, and you swung on him, him, but you didn't hit him. I didn't swing no. on him. He didn't I didn't hit him. him. I didn't he hit him until like he was out here in the middle of the street after he called you guys. And I said, well, if I'm going to jail, I might as well just... Okay. You know, you're gonna you're gonna get your chance to talk. Okay. I'm gonna ask. I'm not trying to ask you a bunch of questions too. a friend of mine, man. You know? Yeah. But we're just having big disagreement over household Has he been drinking? No. no okay. You well, know. do me a favor. I'm going to sit you down here, and I'm going to go talk to your fiance and find out whether or not she was assaulted, OK? Yeah. So sit down here on the curb. And that's the only reason got me going. Just relax. Cross your feet for me, all right? Okay. Fill this in for me. When he takes his walk to the river, what happens up here? He started saying just words with me, blah, blah, blah. I got up. He grabbed me, you know, excuse me. Knocked me down the steps. I hit my side right here on that little blue couch. I did hit my side. OK. Right there. All right. Do me a yeah. favor. Go sit down by your man. Yes, sir. We're going to talk to Julio okay. and see what Julio has to say. Yes, sir. Big feet, Daddy. Hi, sweet. It's all right. I'm sorry. It's all right. Don't cry. Hey. It's all good. Julio, come over here. Come here and tell you she What's it all over? OK. Well, me and my, me and my roommate are working. We're paying rent. She ain't paying nothing. She don't live there. She ain't on the lease. She ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I told him. I said, well, she's got to go. Okay. So you're aggravated at the fact that she's been living there without helping out with any no, of the no, expenses? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, what, what I'm aggravated about uh -huh. is the wants to swing on me when, I'm, when I can't defend myself. Okay. He hit but, me up there, and he hit me right over there. Him swinging on you had to be caused by something. He had to get agitated at you enough to swing on you. What started the agitation? I, mean, I don't what, know. Did she get pushed down? Did you push her down? Did I push her down? Yeah. No. No? Didn't touch her. Not at all? No. Nope. All right. Do you want to press charge against Julio for assault? Yes let or no go. question? We'll let it go. Might as well take him. It's yes, a yes. I do. If he touched you, because yes, that's do. what got me going. Yes, you do. Yeah, and you're, you're willing to sign as U.S. and testify yes, in court? Yes, I am. OK. Julio's signing on Larry. Larry's going to jail. Okay. If you're going to sign on Julio, Julio's going to go All to jail. Right, then I'm signing. They're both going to go to 27th Street. OK, now I'm going to And they'll be, able to, they'll be able to post bond in about an hour or so. OK. All okay. right. But for her that, touching her, it's OK. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> that is OK. I'm going to have you out within 30 minutes. I'm going to have you out in 30 minutes. Watch. We'll get you down, get you booked in. You guys will have your day in court. We're en route to a domestic call. The husband's drunk, has been drinking, and apparently is either trying to leave or trying to keep her from leaving right now, so we'll see when we get there. Oh, there she is. She come running out after him. 
Is this the husband? This is the husband? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not her husband. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Did you call us on him? Mm -hmm. Okay. He done gave my keys. Uh, somebody, okay. That dude, witness. That dude Somebody's that was going out to jail. Here. No, your ass going to jail. That dude. Yeah. That's it. You got your hair burning. Tina, Damn. Was, whoa, whoa. You're going to jail. That's all right. I got the money to get out. I got the money to get out. He done took my keys. Okay. He has some bitch in my truck. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stay cool. right there. Cool. You got her? I got her if you want to get your cuffs. Yeah. What's your name, ma'am? Tina. Tina? Yeah. And who is this guy that you just hit? John, who lives in my house, who was had a in my truck. That's fine. That's fine. He's not your well, husband? No, he's, we've been together for seven years. And my I'm kids are I listen, ma'am. I was on my own. I'm going to tell you what happened this morning, OK? He wasn't home to go to work. I was like, OK, I need my truck. I come over here, I ride up some J-Lo bitch with in the back of my truck, butt naked. My kids are at home by their damn self. He's out here acting stupid. Take it to the car. She's yeah, yakking. Kids, my, my, yeah, my yeah. kids, they show sure my kids. They are my kids. Here's a witness when she, when she just tried to run me over. OK, they're both saying that you're a witness. I, I did witness it. So you were here sitting? I was sitting in the car mm -hmm. trying to put my mirror on. OK. And she came up, brought this truck back. OK. And when she came up, she got in, there was a white Cadillac parked there. She gave him the keys to the truck. This truck, the Tahoe? Yeah, this truck here. When OK. She, she gave him the keys to the truck. She got in the cat, got in the Cadillac. OK. And tried to run him over. She Lady backed up trying to hit him. Hell yeah. OK. Two times, not once, twice. So she, she went times. forward? Backed up and came back at twice. him. Twice. OK. And that's the skid marks right there. You can see what she did. Are there two skid marks or just that one set of skid that's marks? Both of those are hers. She the backed curve? Up. Yeah. Like all both just the two hers. going straight back, or the other set going into it? All, all of those are hers. OK. One I'll take pictures of one, one like that. Okay. All of them are hers. Okay. OK. So let's get her side. OK, Tina, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Don't shock. You don't tell the truth. They're going to keep me. They're not going to give me no bail if you don't tell the truth. That man said I tried to hit you. Tina, come here. Come here, please. Come back here. <laughs> they need their client. I don't know. I know. Any of these I know. Come over I here. Work for Where do you work at? Where do you work? Turn, okay, turn right a, here. Look, I am not. Because I don't want them to be doing anything to I, you. I am not a bad person. Listen. Okay, I don't think you're a bad person, okay? <laughs> okay, I come over here. My car was acting up. I'm thinking, okay, if he's not going to work, Your I'm car being the Cadillac? Or yeah, which car? The Cadillac. It was okay. smoking all over the place. I'm like, well, since he's not going to work, I'm going to get my truck. I pull up on the side of my truck. Okay, what I did not expect to see him and some girl butt naked in the back of my truck. Okay. 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 I didn't even, you know, you guys see it caught. I didn't lose my composure. I was like, you know what? Just get out of my truck now, please, because I don't want to have any drama. Just please get out. I need to get to work. So, I mean, I understand I slapped him. I understand. I'm sorry. I'll pay to get out. Mm -hmm. I did not try to hit him. OK. Why, why are they telling us that you tried to because hit him? Because some people over there don't even know me. He probably told him to tell you guys that because I hit him. And if he tell you the truth, if he knows they're going to keep me, he'll tell you the truth. They're trying okay. not to let Talk me to out, me. Sean. Here. Sean doesn't want to cooperate. Sean, please cooperate. They're going to keep me. You don't understand. They're trying to put some more charges on me. I'll take this early conduct, but I did not try to run you over. They're going to keep me. I, I already know. Well, then tell them the truth, because these people are I telling did. them. Would you tell them they're saying you didn't cooperate? I smacked you, yes. Give me just early conduct, but I, they're going to try to get some other on me that I ain't did. They're going to keep me. Please, I'm trying to say that never happened. Tell her, please, what, never because that way I can the get, get yeah. this early we conduct. We got a total stranger. Out. I would never hurt him. My God, we've been together for seven years. OK, but you were very emotionally upset. Yeah. How am I going to explain the fact that I've got a total stranger that's seeing you hit him with the car he or tried to, to hit him? He tried to tell you the truth. Shana knows. OK, Tina. Come on. <laughs> they going to keep me safe. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sean's not saying anything different, right? He's saying it didn't happen. This is the Cadillac that she used earlier, apparently, to uh, attempt to run him over, according to the witness. And the husband or boyfriend, whatever, was being uncooperative, which if he wouldn't have, he didn't want to cooperate, we wouldn't have prosecuted. But because of the witness, now she can go to jail. We're taking her to jail for the aggravated assault. All 30, clear roll. Oh, I got a traffic collision. So you got 5 Sam, Beaver David, 981. What is it leaking? What's going on, bud? Something just hit me, man. You okay? My arm is hurting right now. Your arm's hurting? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get paramedics on the way, okay? Uh, uh, sure. Why don't you go ahead and get out of the car? Yeah. Paul 11, 1183, uh, or Foothill and Uke. I need paramedics, code three. I'm not involved. Go ahead and step out, bud. You all right, man? You need some help? Uh, I think I'll be all right. All right. Oh, man. All right. Looks like it's got your gas tank. All right, man, come here. 
Come here. Come on, man. Oh, you okay? Yeah. All right, let's get away from all this gas, okay? Let's go over here to the side of the street. Okay. What happened, man? I don't know. Let me go see if these other guys are okay. You okay to walk? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Carefully go over here and just walk off to the sidewalk, okay? Just go take a seat over there for me. Paul 11, we have a large gas leak also. What's going on? All right. Yeah. Okay, don't move, man. You okay? I need to sit down, man. Who's driving? Him. Him? He was driving? Come over here. Come over here, out of the street. Over this way. Let's go this way. I'm right here, man. Let's go this way. This way. Over here. Let's go over here and sit down. Paul, Levin, I think I have more than one uh, injured party here. What's going on, bud? You all right? Were you driving? No, bro. Who was driving? I don't know. You don't know who was driving? No, bro. Who was the driver this year? The passenger mm -hmm. sitting down said that he was driving. Got it. The gas is leaking out of the truck. Hey, bro. All right. The the driver, he ran away, bro. All right, whose car is this? The friend. Okay, is the car stolen? Be honest. It's honest. It's stolen, bro. It's stolen? Yeah. Okay. Sarge, go 15 with the uh, other guy sitting down, please. Where is the car taken from? Where did you the car, bro? Who took the car? Your friend? Yeah. Your friend took the car. So you know the car is stolen, right? I don't know. The guy in the semi didn't see who was driving. We ran the plate, and it comes out that the, uh, the guy we have over here claims he was a passenger. The plate actually comes back to his name with his address on here, so okay. he's more than likely going to be the driver, and it looks like he's uh, the one. Okay. What's going on, bud? What's your name? Jesse. Jesse, where do you live? Rialto. Okay, what's your address? 435. Okay, so this car's yours, right? No, no, it's not mine. Okay. Are those plates the plates that belong on the car? It's not mine. Okay. Who is driving the car? Peter. Peter. Yeah. Who's Peter? My cousin. That's the one in the back seat of the car? Yeah. He's hurt pretty bad. I, I need to know. He's saying he wasn't driving. You need to tell the truth. Think about that for a second, and I'm gonna come back, okay? What's going on, Peter? I need yeah. to know who was driving. Bro, I think it was you, but I don't remember, bro. I think it was him. I can't hear you. What? I think it was you, but I don't remember, bro. You think it was who? He thinks it was him. He thinks it's him, but he doesn't remember. You, you think you were driving, but you're not sure? Okay, so the truck's not stolen then, right? No. No? No, I have insurance and everything, bro. Okay. Hey, hold still. I don't know where the driver is at. Oh. Okay, just relax, okay? Yeah. Oh, my leg is hurt. Okay. Now he's telling me, I, I think I might have been driving, but I can't remember. So the injured guy thinks he was driving? Yeah. Would be consistent with that seatbelt. Yeah. Burn across the guy's neck. What do you want me to do with your friend here? I'll take care of him. All right, bud. Listen, I, I don't want any more games, okay? He right. seriously hurt. What really happened? Okay, we were inside the bar drinking, you know? Mm -hmm. I got out before maybe like an hour, half an hour before he left. I was asleep in the car when he took off. Okay. Next thing you know, I woke up and he crashed. So you know he was driving, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, right now, he, he's hurt pretty bad. He's going to go to the hospital, mm -hmm. and you're going to go to jail tonight for being a under public intoxication, okay? Right. Just go ahead and sit tight, and we'll get you taken care of in a second. All right. All right. The driver is going to be charged with felony driving under the influence once he gets released from the hospital. Could have been a lot worse, all because someone wanted to drink and drive.